Mark Shoemaker. I'm inside the Hermosa Beach Museum where we've put together um, an exhibit of Robbie Hutas's works. Um, Robbie passed away in the early stages of COVID and the Hermosa Beach Museum went out and acquired his uh, vast archive of photos, negatives, prints, artwork, and inside here we have a temporary exhibit of his work. They'll be on display until March of 2022. So a little background on Robbie. He was born in Hungary in 1935, and he emigrated to the U.S. in 1956. Uh, before that time, he was a survivor of World War II in Hungary, as well as the Russian Revolution. He was actually captured by the Russians during an escape attempt and escaped again and made his way to America and came across to the west to uh, Hermosa where he settled in. Um, he did serve in the U.S. military for a few years and in 1964 in Hermosa he got his first camera and he began photographing scenes throughout the South Bay beach scenes, harbor scenes, deconstruction of landmarks, highways, up and down throughout the South Bay, we have his uh, collection of photographs. Um, as time went on, he changed cameras. He became uh, very interested in panoramic shots. So we have some very interesting wide angle panoramic shots some of the shots uh, before the panoramic camera, he would actually take individual photos of, of landscapes and then stitch them together manually in the dark room to create panoramas. But when he got the panoramic camera, that became uh, unnecessary. So we have some of those on display here that we'll show you. Um, so he, he was a, an interesting character, a bodybuilder, volleyball player. He became very interested in beach volleyball and took a lot of uh, photos of all the early tournaments, plus casual play up and down the beach in Hermosa and, and throughout uh, Southern California. So a lot of his work is, is volleyball related. He was also a naturalist. He loved to go in the mountains, the deserts, capture scenes in, the, in those landscapes. And uh, we have some of those in, in our collection as well. Sometimes they call him the bull, sometimes they call him Hoggy, Bull Hog. Some people have actually called him Robbie. The, uh, I was fortunate to use any of the above and sometimes worse. This is a, a painting by John Cantu, who was a, uh, an artist that worked with Robbie at uh, Canary Road down in Redondo Beach. John's now uh, working as an artist in Japan. Well, I first saw Robbie at the uh, Manhattan Beach Open uh, in 1976. That was our bicentennial year. It was a big year for the Open. Uh, I was standing there at the finals watching in the outer rows, and behind me I saw a gentleman shinning up a, uh, uh, an official's pole, which is just a stanchion on the west side of the net that the official climbs up on and there's just a little board on top that, that swing your legs over. And he had a camera and I said, oh, this fellow's taking a picture. The, uh, and we have that picture from 1976 over here that you're welcome to come in and see. We have uh, copies for sale. The, I happened to be in the picture only through meeting Robbie many years after that uh, on the beach in Hermosa Beach, where I was taking photographs, and he came and introduced himself. I invited him up to the house, to my studio for a cerveza, and this was probably 19, well, that would be 25, 50, um, 1995, I guess. 
and we became close friends till the day he died. The quite a, quite a funny guy, interesting. Uh, he liked to come into my studio, uh, sneak in the back, and try to scare me by yelling, you know. <laughs> and uh, this couldn't be stopped. He was quite a character. We decided when we put this together because of Robbie's. Um, vast volleyball history as a player and a documentarian, we thought we'd hang a volleyball net and uh, as a kind of a background and kind of give the beach feel. The, many of these pictures are, this is 1978 Hermosa Open and uh, Girls Foreman. The, this is Robbie's Whitey Lux is what they call it. And it was a camera that had a, a swing lens on it. And, and would take 35 millimeter film. An interesting camera, mechanically uh, impressive to say the least. Here's the 1976 Manhattan Open. If of any interest whatsoever, I'm right above the O here, and Robbie was back on the, the uh, volleyball court and just to the south. And I'm wearing a, a white visor here. Pretty funny. So here we have a display of Robbie's uh, non-volleyball stuff, because a lot of the collection is volleyball. But he, he, he took pictures of uh, surfing, early surfing photos we have from the 60s onward. He loved birds, so we have some gull pictures here and pelicans. Um, this was a poster that was made uh, from a big storm that was captured, I think, in the early 80s. One of the rare shots of the church. We call that in Hermosa. It used to be a church, and then it became an artist gallery. Down here is his first digital image. So this was a picture that was taken with his very first digital camera. If you can come in here, you can see how the resolution has vastly improved since the first digital images were taken. So, uh, Robbie loved the beach, he loved the volleyball, he loved the surfing, but no doubt he also loved the ladies that graced the beaches. And this is one of his favorite shots called the bikini. Uh, I think you can see why. Um, and here's a picture of what used to be standing the Hermosa Beach bathhouse, which is where the hotel is now along the Strand. And invite you to come down to see more of his work. And we have a huge curation project ahead of us to archive all of his negatives and, and prints. But we're, we're, we're blessed to have this collection now and hope you can come by and enjoy it sometime.